footsteps I could hear. It was you. I'm so glad. I couldn't concentrate on anything because of the baldness. Maybe they're throwing up a party or something. I want you to wreak havoc on them.
Reloading. to ruin our operation. Take care of it. We got some pretty clear data from the radar. I think we can find where the Caligo is buried in this. Thank you. <sighs> Found it, finally. Hurry, get the guide and come here. All right, Luna. But before we go, there's something I want to share. Do you remember the bone sample we took from the Caligo? A small amount of RK has been detected on it. It's strange. Ancestors aside, how can RK be detected on the bone of some giant organism I have never heard of? I cannot be sure, but there's a good chance that the Ancestors used the Caligo to test the RK weapon. Based on the data on the Caligo that we received through the ISCEEV, if we estimate its original size based on the size of the bone, its bone density and composition, and assume appropriate muscle mass to support this, its body would be comparable in toughness to that of a colossus. A caligo like that would have been the perfect subject to test a weapon of such immense power. This is only a hypothesis, but it is the only conclusion that I can find when applying the calculations. We will need additional data in order to replace or confirm this. Guide, I understand that we have to move quickly. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm feeling dizzy from all those sounds I was exposed to. Oh, everything sounds like noise to me now. I don't think I'll be able to handle a cave or somewhere where everything echoes. Luna, return to Albion now. I'll take care of things here. Uh, hello? I believe your thrusters have overheated. If you can't fly, you know you're about as useful as an empty cave. Have a nice fix you out before you break completely. Yeah, you're right. The thrusters are close my suit are at their limits. Guide, look after the kid. Luna and I will head back. All right, Kyle. Please take care of Luna. We'll investigate here. Uh, our supply box is waiting for the sample to arrive. Great. We extracted the data as quick as we could, and found out that they were also storing Caligo bones. Now, I have to try to figure out why. I can detect RK even from the entrance. Do you really think the ancestors experimented on this animal? I wonder if this is why they created a weapon using RK and tested its power. We've delved this far into the past. Time to discover an ancient secret. I know the Vulgus are also desperately investigating this place because RK can be detected here. Locations 
there are many broken bones here. I think there may have been a conflict at some point. I will check to see if I can detect something. <laughs>
they're connected to the place where the Calgo is buried. It might be evidence that they studied the corpse firsthand. If anything remained to be destroyed, they could have continued testing its destructive power. Descending. The enemy is sending a high voltage electric current to damage the ancestor security protocol. Battery algorithm analysis complete. We must destroy the enemy batteries in sequence. Confirm. I will try to remove the security protocol. created to destroy the Red Sphere, in order to destroy the Iron Heart inside it. Ah, permission to control the RK weapon has been granted only to me. I don't know why this is, but we should focus on the operation for now. The RK weapon is hidden beneath the Mirage Stone. As I can move the weapon, 
Let's join forces with HQ and carry out the operation together. Got a question about the operation? Welcome back. I've read the report submitted through the Aceive. Only the guide could handle the RK weapon. She didn't know anything about the Caligo. But she has access permissions for the RK weapon, which is powerful enough to kill a Caligo. It's a little suspicious. But we have a more important matter at hand. We must obtain the Ironheart. Now that we have everything we need, all that's left is to go all out. We've already loaded a tactical armored vehicle with the material to pour over the Red Sphere. But there's a problem. The substance is highly volatile, so Kyle and Luna are escorting it. Carefully. This slows things down, of course. While they're escorting the tactical armored vehicle, I need you to clear out all the Vulgus from the surrounding area. We must create a secure environment to get the vehicle into position. Once the special material arrives safely, we can move on to the final stage of our operation. When the chemical reaction changes the surface of the Red Sphere, that'll be our chance. We must activate the RK weapon at that moment. Once the Red Sphere is neutralized, we only need a small amount of RK to retrieve the Ironheart. But even though we don't need a lot, both Luna and Kyle's RK has been severely depleted. Descendant, you're the only one who can activate the weapon. I know it'll be physically demanding, but it's a critical step to accomplishing our goal. I need you to focus on the mission more than ever. Go to the Agna Desert and complete the assignment so that the tactical armored vehicle can get into position safely. Let's show those bastards that this victory will be ours. Hey, this is Raina. We've detected unidentified phenomena around the Red Sphere. The floating stones are moving. Requesting reinforcements. Don't worry, it's just the guide. She's moving the floating stones so we can approach the Red Sphere. So, the guide really does have control. The situation is favorable, for the moment. We have to hurry. Oh, seeing you makes me feel like I've finally come back to reality, Descendant. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. The floating stones only just stopped. They were moving like crazy a minute ago. We can't see the guide, so it gave us quite a scare. Once you clear this area, I will lead the Ironheart excavation from higher ground. I'll also coordinate with you so that the guide can use the RK weapon too. We're almost there. Let's go. It seems I've caused quite a scene. Fortunately, Luna was able to quickly explain the situation, so things could be settled. Albion should thank me. Jeez, I can't believe a great artist like me is being bounced around some battlefield. As a result, I was able to align the floating stones, allowing us to approach the RK weapon. Thank you, Luna. I've finished repairing my suit and thrusters, and I'm moving to join you. See you at the operation site. Hey, I'm coming too. See you soon. It's Kyle. Don't look, keep moving. If you wave at me, the enemy will notice. We need to eliminate the enemy forces who have control of this corner. Descendant, we'll bring the tactical armored vehicle when it's safe.
by defeating that commander. Finish them.
as a... Hey, don't cut me off. <laughs> Why are you dragging your feet? You have to come here anyway, and I need your arm. <laughs> They're trying to get under our skin. Just wait. Oh, that brute bastard. Descendant? Guess inhaling all that excavation dust was worth it. Recover the Iron Heart as soon as Marcus punches a hole in that thing. Marcus, we're ready over here. How about on your end? All ready, ma'am. Just give us a signal. All right. Get rid of that hunk of iron. Just what I was waiting to hear. Mark on target!
Good job, everyone. Operation complete. Transporting the Ironheart back to Albion, you'll need to leave it there for now. It looks like the Colossus Devara is drawn to the energy of the Ironheart. If you bring it to Albion now, the situation will become much worse. Damn! What the heck? Why do you keep getting in the way at times like these, Colossi? Not completely unexpected. Same thing happens every time an Ironheart is removed. We should brace for an intercept battle. Don't I go nonchalant about this? You haven't even fully recovered yet. Kyle, listen. We should wait here and start transporting the Ironheart again when things settle down. 